These are my favorite Japanese frozen treats for the summer. Summer is here, it is super hot outside, and what better way to cool down than with a frozen treat? So these are my favorite Japanese ice cream and frozen treats that you should definitely check out. Some just because they are delicious and others because they're just so interesting and I had to share all of them with you in this video. But like always before I start, if you want to see what I'm doing on daily, check out my Instagram account and if you guys want to help support the channel, check out the Japan merch. And if you guys have any questions about Japan or Japan travels, then check out my Discord community. That all said, Let's cool it down with the first frozen treat. Number one, gelato parm mixed berry from Morinaga. So this one is some mixed berry loveliness. It's interesting that it's called gelato parm. Parm is the name of the brand. They have the chocolate covered one. <laughs> yeah, my mom used to say parm, but she would pronounce it like parm. Oh really? Yeah. I wonder why they call it parm. In Italian, that means palm. So why don't they just call it palm? Oh, well, they made up this name. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Italian. Parma. Yeah. Parma is hand, the palm in okay. Italian. I should know this. I studied in Italy for a few months. Ah. I did not study very much when I was there. The thing I love about this is how red it is all the time. If you look closely, you can see like the strawberry, like the little black marks. I think it is a are, are these seeds like on the skin? Oh. Okay. Anyways, let's take a bite. Mm. Wow. All the time, it has that premium flavor to it. It looks like it's gonna be like kind of hard and kind of like a popsicle, but when you bite into it, it's just so soft and smooth inside. But it has like the little like strawberry. It's so soft, you can just eat it with your lips. Try to eat it with your lips, it's that soft. It has a warning sign, it will stick to your lips. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Like it's so soft, you can eat it with your lips. And... Try it! No. Oh. Mmm, it's very fruity. Good amount of tanginess. I thought the coatings is more like sorbet, like more icy, but it's not. It's more like jelly or tastes kind of like the freshly made jam kind of taste. Number two, Ramune bar from Morinaga. So whenever you see Ramune, then you know you are in Japan. This is like their go-to summer drink, just common for kids to drink like during festivals or like just any time in the summer. It's like a bottle that has like a little ball at the top and you pop it and like kids just love all the sugary, sugary goodness. This is their ice cream version. So you can see just on the outside, you have soda ice. It says like kind of like a hardness, but on the inside, you also have like a soda cream and then you have like little bits of ramune as well. Let's do this. Mm, that reminds me of your childhood. How do you know? Because <laughs> you're Japanese. <laughs> I want to describe this one because this is like more of you than me. Are okay. you trying? It's like a Japanese kid summer. I, I know it's good, but seriously, me and Paolo has a completely different taste on the ice cream. So <laughs> this is like, I would never buy this. It's not as sweet as I thought. It's funny how it says Budo to de Sukiri. 100% pure sugar. Right? <laughs> I feel like the drink has more soda. It's you... hard to put carbonation in ice cream. Baskin and Robbins oh. has poppy shower. So it's possible. They could, but they decided not to. To make it like yasashi. You know, like. It does say yasashi there. Oh, it does? Yeah. So there you go for that soft sense of Japanese summer. Try the ramune popsicle. Number three, shaved ice with strawberries and condensed milk from 7-Eleven. So this one is a little bit different. It isn't an ice cream per se, but it is a, kind of in the category. It's a shaved ice strawberry with condensed milk. And you can just see how strawberry that is on top. Oh, there's a body inside? <laughs> Niku is meat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fruit pieces. It's 11% fruit pieces. Try to get a little bit of both in there. You can see the shaved ice, but what's actually happened is that the condensed milk has kind of like soaked up in there. Let's take a bite. First of all, you get the strawberry chunks in there and you can really, really taste the strawberry. You do get the sweetness from the strawberry pieces and chunks, but you also get like even more sweetness from the condensed milk. You have like these little pockets of condensed milk that's just kind of inside of the shaved ice. It is on the sweeter side, but it also has that kind of like nice refined adult taste as well. Mmm, try it, try it, try it. Oh, you like it, right? I told you you'd like this one. I wouldn't buy it. 
<laughs> well, don't worry. If you don't like this, I have more to share with you. Number four, Parizaku Choco Mint Parfait from Morinaga. So this one, you can just never get wrong. It is the Choco Mint Parfait. You can see all the chocolate and mint goodness in there and all the different layers. Let's just pop this open and show you how much I love this one. When you look at the top, it looks like one of those kaleidoscopes. Are you getting sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> what the kaleidoscopes? A yeah. kaleidoscope is just like the one where you go like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why aren't you getting? Are I'm you? I'm not getting sleep. Oh, do you hear that? Wow, look at that. It's a lot. I've got a big mouth. I love when you like punch it in there. You hear all like the crackling from the chocolate that's kind of frozen in there. Let's take a bite. Oh. Now this is what you want on a summer's day. Sweet, chocolatey, minty, fresh. Has some of that vanilla in there. You cannot go wrong. And then you have like the crackling chocolate layers in here. It's just perfect. If you want something minty, chocolatey, and just like a good time, then this is, oh, can't waste anything. This is my recommendation. Number five, Bokujo Shibori Afogato from Guriko. Had to include this one because it's a little bit different than the other ones. It is the Afogato flavor. It is like ice cream and coffee all in one little sweet package. You can see right there in the front, it says Bokujo Shibori, which means farm and squeeze. So it's farm squeezed. It's interesting because it says farm to spoon. Do you think that's just like marketing material? <laughs> Do you think that's like... <laughs> let, let me see the back. It's like sterilization or whatever to the container, to the warehouse, to the kombini, to Paolo's freezer, <laughs> sitting there with all the other treats that Michael gets mad because I have so much ice cream. <laughs> what are you gonna eat this ice cream? I'm saving it all up for the next video. So <laughs> you bought the most out of like any of the video we did in the past. It's a summertime. Like I have to kind of choose my favorite ones. Who knows? Maybe they are right. So they have this all around the outside. They have espresso ice. And then on the inside, they have the ice cream. Oh, you can hear the crunch. Whoa, look at that. See the layer, the outer shell. Mm. First thing that hits you is that espresso coffee taste. The vanilla they used, it's really sweet. So it kind of pairs well with the bitterness of the coffee taste. Sometimes like vanilla is just really not so strong, but this one is like really, really sweet. So it pairs really, really well. The coffee is also sweetened. This is like one of those like perfect morning ice creams, you know? I don't think a lot of people have ice cream. Am I the only one? My stomach has never heard from eating ice cream. Your stomach is like an animal. What kind of animal? Capybara. Copy butter? Capybara. Uh, what's capybara? <laughs> that's what I look like? Stomach. <laughs> this one, he's like in an onsen. Oh. Before we continue on with this frozen paradise journey, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Boksu. If you don't already know, Boksu provide a gourmet experience of Japanese snacks delivered to your front door. They work with traditional Japanese factories, some over 100 years old, to provide you with unique snacks. And each month, box has its own unique theme so you get different snacks every time. So it's pretty simple. First time users will get a Seasons of Japan box and after that you'll get a theme box like this one. Right when you open up the box you get this nice booklet that takes you through each snack as well as information about Japan. You get 10 to 25 snacks in your box depending on the package you choose. They're all handpicked from all over Japan to deliver you unique and local Japanese flavors. So get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box from Boksu and save up to $47 using my code PALO10 and link in the description. That said, Michael, bring on the next frozen treat. Number six, cheese tart from Bake. I don't know if it's like my go-to, go-to, but it is pretty interesting. It is the Bake cheese tart. They make some of the best cheese tarts, and this is kind of their over-the-counter product. Is it ice cream or is it cheese tart? It's a cheese tart. But what's, <laughs> awesome, but what's cool is that it comes frozen, but you can also heat it up and you can eat it like either way. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't consider this like ice cream ice cream, but it is, you can still eat it as like a frozen tr treat. <laughs> this is the sweet tart that you get. It, you can see that it's just like the regular tart. You got the kind of breadcrumb outside. You have the tart here, pretty solid. There's not a lot of play. 
you get the cheese tart goodness right there for that bite you get the pie crust on the outside and you get just like a very cheesy tart that you would probably expect if you went to the bake store itself it's not like super super sweet even though it's been frozen quite a bit just feels like it's almost just been in the refrigerator yeah so another summer treat that you may have not known about number seven museum of ice cream strawberry soda ice parfait from lawson michael what's your favorite museum our museum no museum of ice cream strawberry soda ice parfait it's super cute not necessarily my favorite in terms of taste but it's just fun and unique so i definitely wanted to share with you this one is coming straight from uchi cafe which means lawson you can see all the different colors you have pink blue orange pink blue orange i guess it's all three colors <laughs> on top got some candy sprinkles the top is lemon it's equivalent to smarties in the states yeah, 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 yeah. let me see if i can get a spoon in here that just has all of the different flavors all in one just looking at this you feel like the summer vibe right Let's take a bite that is rich and sugary. Here you have the pink is a strawberry, the blue is the soda flavor, you have crunchy candy pieces of sugar on top, and then dip down below. Here is that orange flavor right there. You can see it dripping a little bit. Whoa. This thing is, how do you say, it doesn't taste very natural. It tastes like the, you know, the kids' sweets back in the days? Oh, maybe they say yeah. this, but like, neru 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 What's that? One that you mix, those mixtures on the tray. Neru 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 neru. I wonder why they called it Museum of Ice Cream. I was gonna say that. Well, it says in the bottom, it says, Honsei wa Museum of Ice Cream to no korabo. Oh. It is still good. It's like perfect for the kids because they were just like love this. It's not like your adult taste, but it's still fun nonetheless. Number eight, Topico, the Mediterranean Sea lemon from Gurico. All right, we're back with another limited time summer menu. This is all about the limited time. We did not stop with Papico. Why is it called Papico? Would you like some papiko? Papiko! Uh, Looks like it is has some saltiness to it and it's a lemon peel. In general, in Japan, when you think of papiko, it's kind of like kid friendly ice cream treat. I used to hate it because I thought it was a cheap solution. Parents buy. Get like a full thing, you're like, okay, I have to share it with my sister. Yeah. But it's like, it's fun. It's nice. You don't get your hands dirty you just break up the top take a little sip of this it's like it's more like a sip than a bite yeah, yeah. Mm, lemony, sweet, and refreshing. I guess it's a Japanese equivalent to the US slushy. It is a limited time only, so if you want this freshness, you gotta get it now. And what's cool is that it does also have like some pulp in here. See, that is a little pulp. You get little pieces of meat. In fact, I would even venture to say that I don't think a lot of kids would like this flavor. It's more oh, of like eh? an adult taste. Number nine, Super Cup White Peach Tart from Meiji. So this one is relatively new for the summer. It's one of those, I think, gente menus. It is a super cup, which is a very popular brand here in Japan. And this one is the peach flavored tart. You have on top the peach flavored chunks, and then just below it is a cheese cream, and then you have like the crumbly like cookie, and then just below you have the vanilla ice cream. It's four layers, pretty deep if you ask me. It's funny how the name is sweets. Sweets. Sweet. If you couldn't read Japanese, you're like, oh, I I really like the Meiji sweets. <laughs> Let's open this up. You can see the frozen peach. Oh, there oh, you wow, go. The vanilla is so yellow. It's it, cheese? No, it's vanilla. Wow, the overpowering taste is peach. It is a little bit more on like kind of on the artificial side. It does have like fruit chunks, but for some reason you might think it's a little bit too unnatural. The bottom you do have like this vanilla right here and it's really, really vanilla. Like it almost looks like egg cream cheese kind of taste. It comes from this white part of it. And then you have like the little like cookie crumbles in here, but overall it's, it's a good treat. Wanna try? <laughs> What's that face? I'm not into fruit flavor, you know that, right? So when I eat fruit, I want a freshness. It's not bad. It's just when it comes to this like chemically taste, I'm not really into it. You, you're like sinking. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think this sofa is getting softer and softer. This sofa is as old as our YouTube career. Nah, it's like our memory setup. <laughs> 
And number 10, Big Suica Bar from Lotte. Bringing back another limited time only. This one is Suica Kaba. <laughs> you got fireworks going off. You got a watermelon right here. You have all of this 200%. It says a suika ba, which means like watermelon popsicle. Yeah, you even have a suika baman at the bottom. He looks like he is spitting some fire. Yeah, so this is another cool special one that I had to introduce with you guys. Here you go, the watermelon slice from heaven. Isn't it cute? So you have the red watermelon here and you have green watermelon. Oh, it even smells like watermelon. Oh, yeah. It's funny because the seeds, they look like regular seeds, but it's chocolate. This one is so Japanese. Well, they did a pretty good job with like recreating the watermelon taste. The bottom part is like a melon soda taste to it. In terms of the taste, it's okay. It's not like the like the most flavorful. It looks like a straight up watermelon. It has these little chocolate seeds. Those are actually chocolate balls. I can't imagine the taste watermelon and chocolate mix. It's a very unique taste. So I wanted to share this one in particular. It looks cute. Yeah, it's super cute. Okay. Hey. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to give it to mommy? Thank you. Yeah. Oh. oh, you want it back? All right, so we're going to close out of here. If you guys like this video, help us out and hit that like button. Mm. And if you guys, oh, there you go. There you go. And if you guys want to see any more of these videos or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. No, no. No, no. No, no.